Bobby Zaram, the famed entertainment industry publicist who represented stars such as Cher and Diana Ross, died Sunday in Savannah, Georgia, according to the New York Times. He was 84. Zaram's colleague Bill Augustin confirmed to the New York Times that he died of complications related to lung cancer. Zaram was born in Savannah in 1936. He grew up there, then attended Yale University, before moving to New York City. After a short stint working on Wall Street, he moved into the entertainment industry. Zaram was first hired by Columbia Artists Management and discovered his affinity for publicity while working for producer Joseph E. Levine. His PR career bloomed at Rogers & Cowan, a firm he joined in 1969, where he developed a client base that included Dustin Hoffman. In 1974, he founded Zaram Incorporated. Zaram jumpstarted the careers of several now listers. Along with Cher, Ross, and Hoffman, his clientele included stars like Alan Alda, Anne Margaret, Michael Caine, Michael Douglas, Sophia Loren, Jack Nicholson, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sylvester Stallone. Beyond his roster of celebrities, Zaram was known for a number of famous projects, notably the I Love New York Tourism campaign, though his exact level of involvement in the campaign is debated. His other notable work includes publicity for Saturday Night Fever, the studio had neglected the film, expecting it to underperform until Zaram stole production stills of John Travolta to generate buzz, and Tommy, for which he hosted a black tie gala in a Manhattan subway station. His reputation also lended itself to the 2002 film People I Know, as Al Pacino's character Eli Werman was based on Zaram. To many in the industry, Zaram was a more complicated figure. He once employed publicist Peggy Siegel, who accused Zaram of throwing a typewriter at her, an allegation he denied. He also feuded with late gossip columnist Liz Smith, who he claimed wrote a column regularly bashing his clients under the byline Robin Adams Sloan. In retaliation, Zara married the news of Smith's wedding to partner Iris Love. Zara never married, preferring to devote his life to work. He publicly spoke on the importance of therapy and was a client of Czechoslovakian psychiatrist Samuel Lowy. I think that's why I did what I did, he once told Hamptons magazine, according to the Times. Not feeling that I had anything to communicate, I felt that, if I made the rest of the world accept Dustin Hoffman and Anne Margaret and Cher, and all these people, then I would be accepted. Don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me why, I know, no, no, you won't save my life, save my life, if you keep on, you keep on, you'll make